Sometimes a plug or an outlet will get so hot that it'll start to melt. And it's kind of hard to figure out where to place blame when that happens. Um, usually you'll be using an old outlet that you've been using forever with a new plug, or you could have an old plug that, you be, that you've been using for a while with a brand new outlet. And so when you plug it in, and then over time it starts to melt either the outlet or the plug, it's hard to figure out which one is the culprit. So how exactly do you figure out which one is at fault here? Hi and welcome back to AC Connectors, I'm Chris. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to identify electrical arcing either within an outlet or a plug that causes either the outlet or the plug to start melting, uh, which obviously is a very bad thing. So it's usually three instances in which this happens. First is within the wiring between the wall and the outlet itself. Second is between the plug and the outlet connection. And the third is within the wiring of the plug itself. So let's start with the first instance, an outlet that's been installed on your wall. So when you install an outlet, or hopefully you have an electrician installed for you, the proper gauge wire is used for that outlet. So this just happens to be a 650 that we kind of stripped down as an example. That would use six gauge. A dryer that typically uses 30 amps, that would be 10 gauge. Make sure you use the proper gauge wire for your outlet. Secondly, they should be fastened securely to the terminals, they should be tight on there. Not loose, not with wires fraying everywhere. They should be secured tightly to these terminals. That would be good conductivity. And then with electricity, heat is pretty normal. I mean, electricity generates heat. And then when you have good conductivity, you're gonna have low to normal heat levels. When you have bad conductivity, which is when you have loose wires or they're not secured tightly enough in here, then when you're using an outlet like this, it'll get hot and then cool, hot and cool, hot and cool during usage, because you're plugging it in, unplugging, and using something on and off. That will make the terminals expand and shrink, expand and shrink until they're too loose to even hold on to the wires securely enough. That is bad conductivity, and that will make the terminals very hot. And so if you're using an outlet like a 650 that uses a lot of power, we recommend you get them serviced pretty often just to double check that everything is secured tightly so you don't get it too hot. And then something they use on and off again, also get those checked out as well. Or just the connection you have in your house that you know is very old, that should be serviced pretty often as well just to double check the connections in the back end. So if you do get to the point where the outlet does get hot, um, because the wires are loose or whatever, um, then the plug will actually start to melt. And that would normally be because plugs usually have a lower melting point than outlets do. So a pretty common example like this one is made of nylon. So nylon, the melting point is about 280 to 300 degrees Celsius. Whereas like a molded plug like this, um, melting point for PVC, like this, is gonna be about 160 to 200 degrees Celsius. So it's a lot lower than this nylon outlet. If you get an outlet that gets so hot it starts to melt the plug, that still means that's the outlet's fault, it's not the plug's fault. You'll actually see the heat kind of travel down the prongs onto the surface of the plug, and it will start to melt and disfigure the plug itself. Another example of that happening. You can see it starts to disfigure the plug. And then the only reason this black part on here on the inside is still the same is because it's more, it's a, it's a material with a higher melting point, similar to nylon on the inside here. But even though you see the melting on this plug, 
It is the fault of the outlet in this instance. For this next instance, we'll take it a little bit closer, just so we can take a look. That'll be between the plug and outlet connection, and you kind of have to see the, the actual terminals that the prongs go into in order to get the picture on this. So now we'll move on to the next instance, which is actually the connection between the outlet and the plug. And that's done so with things on the inside here that we call V terminals. Here's one, here's two. And so they're kind of V shaped as you can see. And you can already see this one is tighter than the other. Tight connections are always gonna be better than loose connections when it comes to electrical products. All outlets should come with a tight V terminal like this. And it grabs on to one of the prongs. Oh, actually very tightly there. And then it comes out. Whereas if you have the loose one, like this one here, it goes on there very, very easily. and comes off very easily. That's not good. So that usually happens um, when people will plug something in and it's kind of tight and they can't get it out. They'll wiggle, they will wiggle this plug out of there. And that's how you get loose terminals such as this one. And that's gonna create heat again. And actually this is a good example of that one. The heat travels down the prong where it has a loose connection right here and then it starts melting the face of the plug. Again, you might think that's the plug's fault. No, it's the fault of this very loose terminal here. If you start to see plugs sagging out of outlets or they just fall completely out of outlets, stop using that outlet until an electrician can come take a look and either replace that outlet or fix it. So now the third instance, can actually be with the male plug end. I know we've been saying a lot of the causes are the outlets, but it can happen with the plug too. Uh, the reason that that would happen is again, loose wire connections inside the plug. So actually on this one, these are soldered onto the terminals. If you can see that. Soldered up, black one soldered onto that one, the white one soldered onto that one. Okay, and you can't see any loose wires. Like you can, copper is a pretty bright color, you'd be able to tell if it was loose. These aren't soldered, but you can see they're crimped into the terminals up here. So they're nice and tight in there. And so if you see wires start to fray out of those connections, then you will get extra heat. And with that, you'll get a black spot starting to form. And then eventually, it will actually look like a volcano eruption. And I've got an example of that right here. So you can see the bubble coming out of the plug and kind of erupting like a volcano. And this would be due to faulty wiring within the plug. So we know this can be a very tricky situation and it can be kind of confusing to, to determine if the outlet or the plug is at fault. Um, we try to break it down here as best as we could, but if you're still having troubles figuring out which one it is, uh, please contact our customer service so we can try and help you out. And please try to provide pictures of the outlet. And then if you can actually open up the outlet and show us the wiring behind it, that'd be great too. And then the plug too, that would be great. Um, otherwise, if you have any other questions related to this topic, please leave us a comment down below and be sure to give us a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.